Hello, testing. Are we live? Are we currently live on YouTube and Twitch? Hopefully. I hope so. Oh wait, also hit record on Streamlabs. Right next to go live, there's a record button. Hit that so that we have the video saved. All right, guys. The water's starting to get a little warmer now. I think it's finally time to begin the stream. What do y'all think? Are y'all ready? You guys even know what you're in for? It's on YouTube? We're on YouTube, guys. I've just been informed that we are live on YouTube. We are live on YouTube. All right, guys. Well, this YouTube journey has been a very long and strange one. It's led me to some interesting places, covering some interesting topics from how Zelda Breath of the Wild represents female female empowerment to how YouTube is YouTube is trying to delete my channel to iDubs content cop to the golden age of the internet is over and finally the homeless crisis that's unfolding in cities across America and while all these topics are interesting and I still plan to cover some of them again my attention now is turned towards the east where it all started where the games the anime that raised me they all came from one place the historic beautiful and highly sought after beauty of the Japanese country and people. Oh fuck, this cable just went in the water. Okay. It's just the cable. So that's where I'm going, guys. We're going to Japan! We're going to Japan! So, in order to go to Japan and make a substantial video about it, what I need to do is talk about how anime and video games influence the whole generation. And um, I wish I could see the chat somewhere. Um, hmm. I think I'll just get it on my phone. That's probably better. Um, but yeah, we're going to Japan. And I'm going to discover the origins of, you know, the culture that influenced an entire generation of Westerners. And it came from this land of, of mystery. And I've never been there, and it's a family trip, and we're going to be making a video about it. Okay, I'm pulling up the chat room. Uh, what the fuck is this? I think I just answered what the fuck this is. This is a live stream of me telling you guys that I'm going to Japan, uh, and I'm hanging out with viewers. Um, okay, alright. Well, anyways, guys, that's pretty much what I'm doing now. Um, oh. Oh. Okay. But first, let's take a look at some of... We... Oh, that's not a good donation, but thanks for the dollar. Um, what inspired wasn't the work itself, but the optimism or speculation of the future. Whoa. Let's talk a little bit, guys. What is your favorite anime intros? You know, maybe let's watch some. Let's really analyze what made Japanese culture so influential to us. Um, can you mute that? And then also look up... Um, we got a super chat donation. Uh, can you look up... Just mute the volume of the stream, I mean. Look up um, Adult Swim bump, uh, uh, promo, anime promo. Just type in uh, Adult Swim anime promo or something like that. And then it'll pull up hopefully something really cool that I remember watching. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at the projector. I forgot we have this. Okay guys, let's check out what's going on. Where it all started. 
This hot tub is not actually very hot. It's more like lukewarm and it's been on for about 20 hours. It's also disgusting and full of sediment and um, harsh hazardous materials. Okay, look at that second one. That second one, click that. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, full screen that. Turn it up a little bit maybe. Maybe turn it up and then full screen it. It's a classic. That's where it all started, guys. I don't know what show that was, but I remember seeing this one on Adult Swim. That's obviously Dragon Ball Z. Cell Saga, the best saga of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Gohan, you know, I mean, this is when Dragon Ball Z was at its peak. That's, I didn't know that show. This is Outlaw Star. I never really watched this one too much, but the aesthetic of it is undeniable. Yeah. I know, I'm trying not to. I'm, it's not going to shock me, it's just going to break. You're going to just keep running away? Just keep running away? Just keep running away? I'm not running. I feel like Outlaw Star is kind of like Cowboy Bebop, but it was made, it was kind of like the, it's like Darling in the Franks. Equivalent to Evangelion. It's like the equivalent of that to Cowboy Bebop. I don't know. Does any, did anyone here watch Outlaw Star? It's got nice art style for sure. You know, typical giant anime girl eyes. The thing about anime that really separated it from American cartoons was that there was a story that didn't knock you over the head with morals or with what to think but there were themes that had a lot of meaningful messages behind them if you dug a little deeper and you could tell there was real care and thought put into each and every drawing each and every frame of the show and um you know i just feel like that was not something you saw in typical american cartoons you know it was like this very serious art form and medium um pulling up my chat right now there's got to be a better way to do this. There's got to be a better way. Serial Experiments Lane. That's one I haven't seen, but I've been meaning to. Um, maybe we should watch the trailer for that. This is going to be all copyrighted, but that's fine. Cowboy Bebop Goes Hard. Oh, yeah. I mean, one of the best ever. Outlaw Star deserves more praise. Really? Okay. Dragon Ball is mid as fuck. It's not mid. Look, Dragon Ball has really high peaks, but I could see that it's not consistently that great that all throughout. Uh, okay, that was good. Can you pull up um, a Serial Experiments Lane trailer? S-E-R-I-A-L Experiments Lane, L-A-I-N. Um, oh, yeah, that's going to be tough. Ops on JoJo. Bathtub phone keck. Uh, S E R I A L space L A uh, I N serial. Oh, sorry, Ex experiments, serial experiments lane L. Yeah, the top. Oh, go. Yeah, that one. Okay, let's. Uh, that that's a good. Yeah, thank you. All right, guys, this is Serial Experiments Lane. Let's watch this one. I've, I've sampled this in many videos. The visuals of it are... Oh, you know what you can do? Um, pull out the pop-out chat on uh go to that youtube the page of youtube that has the stream running there should be an option or just go click on my channel or whatever in a new browser 
There should be an option to pop out the chat so that we could have the chat on the screen, maybe? I don't know. You could just pause this, I guess. Okay, see, someone spamming subscribe to Load to Your God in all caps. That opening is nice. It is pretty cool. So, yes, yeah, so the idea of the video is I want to interview people that are um, either Japanese or living there or just visiting there, whatever it is. I want to interview people while there about what was the impact that anime had in, on their life? What was the influence it had on their life? What was the first time they remember seeing it? And how did it shape their taste of art, of media, of games, and these kinds of things? Um, that's what I want to do with the interviews. And then I want to tell my own personal story of how I got involved with it, how it influenced many of uh, my creations and such on YouTube and elsewhere. And, uh, and even just my life path, you know, so many of my friends I met through or I got to know through talking about different anime or games that we would, uh, you know, have sh shared memories or bonding experiences over. And um, I think that's kind of gone away now like there is anime is still popular in fact it's maybe in some ways more popular than it's ever been but because of that it's sort of been absorbed by the mainstream monoculture of being just an aesthetic or being just like a meme almost uh and it's so fractured too there's not like one defining generation defining anime as there was back then arguably attack on titan is that but i feel like the anime community or people that watch it are just as fractured as anything else, you know, music listeners, movie watchers. And that's a product of the internet age we live in, fracturing culture into all these individual tastes and um, appealing things. But uh, back then, in the early 2000s, uh, especially, there was generation defining anime. You had these few that stick out, these classics that, in my opinion, are still some of the greatest uh, things like Cowboy Bebop, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, you had things like Trigun, um, Gundam, uh, am I missing? There's always a few more. I mean, Full Metal Alchemist was good. That came a little later. Death Note. There was like a second era of anime. I need an anime expert in here, but I need, I need to call Gigguk if you guys know who that is. But there was like an early uh, 2000s wave of anime or like late 90s, probably more accurately. And then by the time it came to the States, it was early 2000s. So that's Cowboy Bebop, Bebop, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Trigun and some of those other ones. But then later on, in like 2006, 7, 8, you had a new wave of anime that I think came to the West pretty quickly. Things like Death Note, Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood. Um, what else? There was a few more in that category. Okay, we got the chat. We got the chat. We got the chat going. Let's go. This Let's go. Not, uh, this is not updated and it's only YouTube. And it's... We need a hit when it says live top chat, hit live, live chat. And also pull up Twitch. Can you mute that stream? Thanks. I don't know. Maybe we should just pull up Twitch. I don't know. Nope. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. Just leave it, but we can have it open later. I don't know. Okay. Well, that's that. Okay. Let's keep watching this. And, you know, anime was very predictive, too, because the writers were really serious about what they were doing, and great art is predictive. And a lot of the stuff that was made in the late 90s, like this, is pretty much completely true today. I mean, it's pretty much, like, completely uh, accurate in terms of the dystopian, you know, uh, technologically driven society that it envisioned. And I think tying back to Japan, that's the case because Japan itself was a lot of way, in a lot of ways an experiment of uh, not only capital capitalism, but also most importantly technological advancement in a small, uh, well-structured society. So that gave them the ability to have the vision of the future, essentially through anime. I think that's a key point, especially when, with shows like this. Is the music too loud, guys? Is it okay? Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to mute. If you want to listen to it, you can listen to it. I just don't want to hear it the whole time, but... Um, you know, and obviously... I haven't seen all, you know, all of the most classic anime, but the, just the few that stuck out to me. I think everyone has their own little path through the ones that 
really stood out to them or were influential to them. Obviously, for me, Fooly Cooly is, is one of those. Probably, like, the most uh, quintessential one that I've associated with online just because it's kind of unique. It's very short. It's very succinct, but it's very well made. Made by Studio Gynex, which, at, again, like, in that era, the first or probably the first wave with Evangelion, you had um, Evangelion, then you had Fully Cooly, and then they made, uh, what's the drilling one called? Drill, I don't know, Drill Bit? No, I don't, I don't know what it's called, but I never saw that one. People tell me it's really good. Gunner, what is it called? Uh, fuck, I don't remember. But, and then I think Kill a Kill, did they make that too? I don't know. Um, okay, now let's type in, um, uh, Wait, Who the fuck? Why, why they keep standing, bro? I don't know, because they want to just mess with us. They want to just mess with us. They're they're, they are funny. They're funny. Um, we have the spammers in chat. We're going to get that taken care of real soon, guys. Okay, it's not it's not funny, guys. All right? I don't even do these streams ever. Can you give me a break? Maybe it's because I have a small stream. That's why. Pick on the small streamer. I see how it is. Shoot. Man. Um, man. Um, so that's the video. I want to make a video that encapsulates all of this. And even better yet, it's going to have originally animated little adult swim bumps like the one we just saw earlier. It's going to have things like that in throughout the video that are made by my brother mostly. And I was kind of introduced to a lot of anime and games because of my brother. So he's coming with me on this trip along with some other family. We're going to go for two weeks. Uh, maybe can you pull up the Japan document? We have a little um, a loose plan forming here. Some things that, and if you guys have any suggestions, I'm very open to hearing them. Uh, you know, for the video and just for the trip in general. All right, so up there's a few ideas I have. I've heard of something called a pig cafe, where there's little like baby pigs, and I guess they just crawl around you while you're, you know, drinking coffee. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna get some sushi. And ramen somewhere. Um, I don't know. Hot tub. We could do a little hot tub. Uh, like Or hot springs, rather. I think hot springs would be good. Um, and uh, could you type hot springs in there? <laughs> yeah. Um And then also type in, um, wait, let me see what the comments are saying. Maybe um, put in a, a anime district. Anime district, yeah. Uh, love hotel on shrooms with the fam. Uh, don't think that's happening, but thank you for the suggestion. Go to Hokkaido. I would love to go to Hokkaido, but it's very far out of the beaten path. Collab with Ms. Kiff when? Um, I'm waiting for him. Honestly, this is, I thought this hot tub was going to attract some Twitch streamers here and I was hoping Ms. Kiff would show up. I mean, we both live in Austin, you know, anytime, anytime, man, anytime, buddy, you know, I got a spot right here for you. Um, can you make video essays or something? Well, this video is kind of like a video essay. It's going to be like a video essay, but probably with less autistic attention to detail. No offense to anyone who makes really good video essays. I just don't think it's going to be an hour long you know, like ex excellently written video. That's just not my style anymore, but it'll probably be like, I'm guessing something like a 30 minute homage to Adult Swim era anime and made up with a lot of uh, my own personal experiences as well as others, something like that. Um, Soapland with the fam, WWW. I don't know what Soapland is. Oh, should we go to Super Nintendo Land, guys? Because... There's one in California, so I feel like it might be a waste to spend a whole day going to the one in Japan, but I've heard the one in Japan has some bonus stuff, and I feel like that would make for a really good video if I made a little like short or even just a short video, either reviewing it or just, I don't know, doing something funny there at the park, so throwing that out there. But I could also go to the one in California, so it might not be worth it. Uh, play some pachinko, okay? Pachinko. We could put down pachinko there, possibly. Um, sumo wrestling match. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, onsen. Okay, that's what the hot springs are. Yeah, I need to know the names too, so I don't seem like a complete, you know, gringo there. 
uh, bragging rights for Japan. When will you be there? I'll be heading there in May. Oh, that's awesome, Mr. Light. I'm going to be there uh, from the 13th to the 24th, so about two weeks. Uh, no, I'm not a furry. Um, if I did, if I was, I'd be wearing my fur suit in the hot tub. Come on now. What's up, villain retro? I think villain might be a furry because he just gave me a wolf whistle. I don't know what that is, and I'm afraid to ask, quite frankly. But what's up, villain? How's you doing, man? You're the homie. LA video was tops. Thank you, Bend Over. I appreciate you, man. I'm trying to make something that's like that, but for the for the gamers, you know, for the real gamers. Um, go to the famous Pokemon Cafe. Okay, let's put that down. Pokemon Cafe, we're going there. Gion in Kyoto, don't. Gion in Kyoto, Dotonbori in Osaka. I don't know what those are, WGM movies, but they. If you tell me what they are, I'll consider it. Do you live on South Amar? Uh, pff, come on now, we're getting a little personal. Uh, no. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. I live in South I live in Austin. That's enough, that's that's far enough. All right. You'll probably see me out there if you walk around. I go out all the time. Uh, I go out to coffee shops. I shout out to Gabe. He lives in Taiwan. I met him at at a coffee shop in Austin and he was a, you know, he was a real one. He was a real glinker. Cringing at that. Uh, it's nice twit two whistle. You never know who's a furry, you know? Have you guys ever thought about that when you're walking around somewhere? It's like, oh, this is just this person right here. But you don't know that, hey, when they get freaky, they put on a full $3,000 fursuit and jump into hot tub parties. You never know. That's the thing because you don't see what they look like. Um, oh, it'd be cool to go to like a little anime convention there. But I feel like I'm going to do Akihabara District. In fact, I'm scheduling a tour, a guided tour. So that'll be sick. Um I think Japan has a very advanced exterior with a dark underbelly. That's a great way to put it, a bait. I might even copy-paste that line for the script of the video, and I appreciate the Filthy Frank avatar you got going on there. I was just watching Filthy Frank the other day. You know, we were, t- we were watching it. Was, we were studying Filthy Frank, and he's smart. He's a total creative genius. Granted, you know, he, he kind of stole most of his aesthetic from little-known fact. This might be a video in the future, guys. If you're interested, let me know. But Filthy Frank, we all know Filthy Frank, right? Pink Guy, Joji, George Miller. Okay, multi-instrumentalist, talented artist. Well, guess what? His first videos and his channel, Concept, Filthy Frank, and Pink Guy, I have a strong reason to believe they came from another channel named Frank Yang, who you could still look up to this day, but Frank Yang came out before him back in like 2012, and he was doing some even crazier shit than Filthy Frank, honestly. But Filthy Frank, you know, he he carried the mantle well. Uh, what's up, Flame Guy? Yeah, the Glinkers are all here. Alien Myth 64, I know you. What's up, man? How's it going? The, you know, what forest? Oh, put down self-death forest. Oh, <laughs> Um, you need to watch Lost in Translation before going to Japan. Maybe I'll watch that on the plane. I've heard that's a good movie. I know there's what's his name in it. Um, Tom Hanks. So I might check that out. Uh, no, that's the real low tier God. This is just his alternate account. Logan Paul's forest. forest, There you go. Uh, we're going to try to find Logan Paul in the forest. Wasn't it disaster music? Uh, that was his original channel, but I'm saying before Filthy Frank, maybe we'll pull up a Frank Yang video. We might do that. I was watching. I mean, shout out to Slush, my good friend who introduced me to Frank Yang, but dude's a killer. Dude's a monster. Uh, don't watch it on a plane. Okay, dude. What's the difference? Bill Murray. That's what I meant. Bill Murray. Sendai is an awesome city in Hokkaido, the north of Japan. It was founded by Date Masamune, a famous one-eyed samurai. What the fuck? That sounds amazing. I want. I would love to see that. But it's so hard to get to Hokkaido, isn't it? You got to like take another plane ride. How long is the plane ride? That's a good question. I don't even know. I think I'm leaving out of Vegas, and I think it's gonna be what, like ten hours, probably. I think like ten, eleven hours. It's a big family trip. Hopefully, I can 
you know, film enough and stuff. I want to enjoy it. I want to do a bunch of food reviews that are going to be little shorts. I'll post on YouTube and Instagram and probably Twitter. I'm also going to work on this major video, of course, but I want to make little short videos while I'm there. Uh, that'd be really cool. And I'd love uh, to see what you guys think about those or if there's any suggestions for that. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, also, if you guys noticed, we got a new logo. Shout out to Robbie Benito. Rabel for making that. Rabel on Twitter. Uh, looks pretty cool, I think. I like it. Uh, now, if I don't get $1,000 within a week, I will end up homeless on the streets of Japan. And you know what? That's okay, too. I'm just going to have to film and document that. No, it's actually, it's it's because we're going with such a big group, we're kind of splitting everything. And I, I think we'll, I mean, it'll definitely be kind of expensive, but uh, I am not spending too much of my own money because everyone else also has money. So I don't know. I think we'll be okay. But if you guys want to donate, it's always appreciated. It helps keep this channel alive. Truthfully, I could, I could use some fuel from y'all, but you know what? I'm not going to uh, pressure people. Um, Shinto shrines. That's a good one. Shinto shrines. Let's put that down. Or, I mean, it's not that urgent, but um, hi, could you cover Esperanza village? Where is that? Esperanza village. Maybe look that up. Mustafa. Uh, let me come with. Okay. Uh, if you're there, I will. I actually got an email by a guy who I guess watches my videos. who said that, um, we could do a little meetup. Oh my God. He just sent me this whole list of like useful phrases. Just some guy who emailed me that watches me. Um, he suggests learning a little Japanese for getting through the airport. Oh jeez, dude. Yeah. I don't know. A li- All right. Here's the Shinto shrine. Uh, you gotta like move that little, there's a little, uh, uh, yeah, it's like the, f- yes, just no, not that one. There's one behind it. I think. Oh no, it's in front of no, it's behind it. No, no, not that one. The it's on the, the the you have to like reach on top of the No, not that one. Above it. Like right by the front. Not, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, sweet. Um Uh hold on. So this is the Shinto shrine. Okay, hit images. Let's let's check it out. I guess it's just a generic shrine. I've heard these are all over Tokyo, right? Like these are in the middle of the city. I yeah, I'm definitely gonna film those. You know, I was trying to get you know, hopefully I can get one, but what I really would like to get is a nice old VHS Sony handy cam, which I have, but it's not in working order. So I'm trying to get a new one because I want to film a lot of the video on that. I've realized that the style of filming on DSLRs is kind of outdated. It's like, okay, you can get ultra 4k HD, but so does everyone else. So does every movie. So does every other video on YouTube. So really it looks kind of plain and boring, but if you film on a VHS camera, it has this like light leak, these saturated colors, this little bit, these, all these imperfections make it this aesthetic that I love. And normally I'm editing to get that aesthetic. So why not just film directly on it? Also saves a bunch of memory space. They're pretty lightweight. Uh, the hard part is just getting one to work, but, um, I don't know. Maybe I could find like a camera, a Sony handy cam retro camera store in Tokyo. Maybe can we put that down? Retro camera store in Tokyo or something. Uh, so this guy sent me a list of, of like ways to speak that are useful for navigating through the country. Nande, that means why, okay. Donna means what kind. A brief reason for you coming. Oh my God, this is amazing. Watashi, watashi wa YouTube no doga to tukimasu, tuskutimukamasu. The Jesus Games, $25. By the Jesus Games. What's up, Jesus? Thank you. First of all, man, here's the homie. He's always been watching my stream, supporting me online. Thank you, man. $25. That's, man, salt of the earth guy right there. Is the donation tracker updating? Does it work? We should have 26 now. Nice. Wait, no, it's at 25 only. Okay, the $1 didn't go through for some reason. Damn, sorry. Whoever, oh, I know who said it, but I can't say your name. But thank you. Um, but thank you to Jesus. I appreciate it, man. You real homie for that one. Thank you. Thank you, man. It should said the text. No, it's not. Oh, it's muted. It It did. Oh, okay. Okay. I think, I think you're right. Yeah. 
All right, guys. So um, I'm reading this little list of of phrases. Um, Tore restroom. Hoteru hotel. Eki train station. This is so useful. Wow. I'm gonna screenshot this and send it to all my my cousins. All right. Um, let's go check on the stream chat. So I might be meeting with this guy in Osaka. I'm definitely meeting with this guy in Kyoto, who's a journalist, and you can find his profile on Twitter. His name is Oliver Gia. I'm going to be meeting with him, doing an interview with him, filming a little segment there. Are you going with ice? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No ice allowed on the plane, motherfucker. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but no, I'm just going with family. W, don't know. W. W for that one to Jesus. Thank you. Uh, Asakusa is the historical district in Tokyo. It has the oldest temple in Tokyo, Sensojoi Temple, dating back to the Edo period. Okay, Asakusa to, uh, district, Tokyo. Can you write that down? Thank you. Uh, uh, yo, VHS looks unreal. That's what I'm saying, man. We need a VHS camera for the Glinkers, for the Glink production crew. Uh, the homeless in Japan, Shinto shrines. Yo, I would love interviewing a homeless man in Japan. I'll do it. I don't fucking care. I'm gonna. He's gonna be like, I don't speak English, and I'm gonna be like, I don't speak Japanese. All right, I already just fucked it up. I just lost all the good faith I had from you guys for just doing that right there, right? I'm canceled. It's over. It's over. It's over. Um, you should collaborate with Brandon Buckingham. I would love to. I would love to. Hey, Brandon Buckingham, I challenge you to a uh, video making contest where we both film a video on the same topic at the same time in the same place and we see whose video is better. I don't know, but I would love to collaborate with Brandon Buckingham, man. That guy is awesome. And you know what's even more awesome about him? He told me he was inspired by my videos, and that's kind of where you got to start. Not just for me, but I'm saying, like, he told me my L.A. documentary made him want to go and film stuff like that, and he did. And good for him. His videos are great. And I met him. He came over to this house before. He might have even been in this hot tub. No, he wasn't, but he was here, and we had a great time, and I think he's a real dude, and I like him. So shouts out to Brandon Buckingham. Um, also issuing a challenge, some ordinary gamers, I officially challenge you for creator clash three, no charity. All the money goes to the winner to fund for me. It's going to go to fund light wave three, but two creator clash three for light wave two. I challenge you for light wave two. Fuck creator clash. We don't need creator clash. No charity though. Um, because you know, I feel like if I'm not, he just inspired so much of what I do online. And it's just like, I, if I owe pretty much owe my entire career to him, um, no, I'm not. I mean, I think Paul is a innovator, but I really don't think I'm very similar to him at all. I don't think my videos are anything like what he does. So some people have compared us cause we look slightly physically similar, but it's like, I'm also not people compare me to all kinds of people that look similar. I'm Armenian motherfucker. I was born this way. I look this way because my ancestors look this way. Okay. I don't know about ice Poseidon. I don't know about any of these other motherfuckers that you guys compare me to. Anyways, back to the chat. Um, Glink made Brandon Buckingham. I'll, I'll knock out ordinary gamers. I will. If, if it comes to that for charity, for the charity of YouTubers pockets, um, Light Wave 2 will be in Tokyo. Light Wave 2 will be in Okinawa. Hiroshima. No, we're, we're, we're still deciding on that. VHS is a meme. There's a lot better cameras, especially in Japan. Early Sony Digital are the t one I would get. Don't fall for the memes. Okay, wait a second, random user. Do you have an, an, uh, an example of what you're talking about? Because I'm going after a certain aesthetic. It's all about the aesthetic. That's one thing Joji knew. Joji, you want to know why Joji went from YouTuber to world star, world class, world famous musician. I think I figured it out. I got to make a Joji video, guys, because my theory is that there's like a certain level of things that you know how to. OK, so like at one level, you can chase trends, right? Like that's how you get views. That's how you get attention. That's how you build something online. But that's like the lowest, like scrape in the bottom of the barrel, like. Oh, there's a new drama story. I'm going to cover it. Like, that's like, 
you know, like the hamster wheel YouTuber brain, like, okay, like, and subscribe, you know, like standard level, right above that you have people kind of making their own stuff, but I would, you know, loosely put myself there. It's like kind of making my own stuff. Some of it's good. Some of it's not so good, but like kind of making trends, kind of starting my own trends, whatever. Right. Then above that, you have someone who really knows what their aesthetic is. It's in their branding. It's in their videos. They have deep channel lore. They have their own complete style. I feel like Filthy Frank sort of tr- ascended to stardom because for many reasons, but for one of the main ones is because he had a vision and an aesthetic that he consistently had that he built over time. His fans were with it the whole time from Pink Guy to Filthy Frank to now Joji. I think that's kind of how he did it, but it was it was a strong vision, basically, is what I'm saying. Like some people just recreate other, they just copycat. Some people kind of do both half and half, and some people are full on original vision. And it takes time, but that's just like a quick crash course lesson in um, marketing or like influencing or whatever the fuck this is. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to curse a little bit less. I gotta get better at that. Um, Drop the Super Mario Bros. Se- drop the SM7B. You need a Logitech webcam. Uh, I do have one. That's what we're. That's what we're doing. Um, go to go to plenty of Izakai and karaoke over there. Oh my God! Can you type that Izakai and karaoke? You can have all the drink for twelve dollars, for twelve to twenty dollars for two to three hours. Oh my God! That's amazing. That's so good. Yes. When you coming to Belfast to make a non-biased commentary on the troubles, you know, I actually want to go to uh, the UK. I have some family there and there there's some stuff I want to do there, actually. So I might take you up on that. I want to do a lot of traveling this year. I'm kind of spread. I wish I could be in multiple places at once because I really like Austin. There's always something exciting happening here. But at the same time, I kind of want to travel. I want to go to Europe. I want to go to Armenia. I want to go to, you know, Japan. I want to go to all these places. So it's hard to do everything at once, but. I, it is in the cards, Villain Retro. We could collaborate. We could do a little punk band type thing there. Bro is literally copycatting the hot tub meta right now. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Fukushima abandoned buildings. Chris aboard made a nice video about it. Ooh, Fukushima abandoned buildings. Where's Fukushima though? Is that really far? I mean, I know that's where the disaster happened, but how far is that out of the way? Belfast, UK. Belfast, Ireland. Belfast, Scotland. Where the fuck is Belfast? Northern Ireland? I'm sorry, villain. This is bad. I know you guys get really caught up on that stuff. It's like it's like you guys saying, oh, you live in Florida or you live in... It's Northern UK. Northern UK? Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. Okay, that's what I thought. Northern Ireland. I've heard bad things about Belfast. I heard it's a dark place, but I will check it out. Me and you, open mic, baby. Let's do it, villain. Villain, I got to see more of your music, man. If you, you actually play like that, right? Like you're good, right? Please check out the Tokyo Underground Music Clubs. Yo, Sam Laser, that's a brilliant idea. Tokyo Underground Music Clubs, I will do that. Um, take show to Soapland. I would love to meet with show. What is Soapland? Goes to UK, gets shanked. Shout out to Lord Miles. Hopefully he finds his way out of Afghanistan. I heard they're, they're holding him prisoner there uh, for God knows what. But... um. He'll probably come out and say, hey, guys, it's still safer than uh, whatever that place is he hates in London. Fukushima is like 40 miles away from Tokyo. Oh, easy, easy. Oh, easy, easy. Mount Takeo is a mountain by Tokyo. It has a temple dedicated to Tengu called Yakuin. Man, WG Movies, you want to just come through, bro? Soapland is a brothel. Oh, okay. Um, WG Movies, you, W for that one. Uh, okay, wait, someone was trying to visit the house right now. Uh, yes, but I'm streaming. Streaming. Um, okay, well, whatever, I guess we'll figure that out. Um, where was I? Okay, Belfast, UK is like Iraq with Iraqis. What does that mean? (laughs) Uh, the next top hot tub streamer. That's right. Amaranth, I'll fight you in the hot tub. We should have hot tub boxing. Boom. Hot tub boxing. Hot tub boxing with only 
with OnlyFans girls. They they fight in a water ring, hot tub ring. Oh my god, bro! Slow motion. You see their whole bodies jiggle with each blow. That could be. We have slow mo cameras underneath, dude. What do you guys think? They will. (laughs) Guys, we want to start. This is not a joke. But I don't know how to. Maybe when I get back from Japan, we'll figure this out. Inshallah, the video does well because we got to fund this. We got to fund this idea, which is uh, we want to do two things. But we kind of want to combine them. We want to host a little boxing event, but we want to do homeless people and OnlyFans girls. And let me explain the rationale behind that because you might not fully understand. So you might think, oh, homeless people, you're exploiting the homeless. You're doing this. You're bringing back bum fights. No, bitch. They don't make any money. A lot of them are don't even have jobs, and they would love to have a job. And I feel like, you know, get, assuming we could get this all squared away legally, so that it's all legal tender, as they say, um, officially sanctioned and liability waivers and whatnot. But the point is, if we have a uh, like a fighting event, and we allow underprivileged, we're not going to call them homeless. We can call it underprivileged because they don't have to be homeless. But whoever is just they're hungry for some. To fight, they're, they're hungry to make some money, to make a name for themselves. It's not about already established influencers. Fuck all that. I want to make a league for unknown people. People don't even use the internet. And then at the same event or a different event, but maybe they could be in the same event, OnlyFans girls. So like all the women are OnlyFans girls fighting each other. And then all the men are underprivileged, whatever, homeless, people that are just starting channels, People that were kicked out of their parents' house, drug addicts. I don't care. I want, as long as they can fight and it's legal, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to make money and maybe get their name out there if the event does well, you know? So I would love to do that at some point this year. That might be Light Wave 2. Light Wave 2. We changing it up. Dark Wave now. Y'all didn't want Light Wave, huh? All right. Dark Wave then, bitch. It's going to be underprivileged fights. With OnlyFans girls in the same ring. I'm thinking that's what we do. Uh, stream key is visible. May want to check that out. I think he's trolling. Guys, is the stream key visible? That's not visible. I don't see it. Um, oh, wait. You want to change that page. It's not actually visible, but you don't want to show. Drag that page back to your screen of the YouTube stream page. The page all the way to the back. Yes. How do I get rid of that? Just move it to your monitor. It shouldn't be on this one. Um, but it doesn't actually show the stream key. We're good. It just shows the, that you have it there. I have an idea. I have a box full of caffeine pills and Hummers in homeless camp and film it. Give me 50% of ad revenue of that video. Okay. Leave a box full of caffeine pills and Hummers in home. I mean, if you got a box, what's a Hummer? Like a, no, I know that, but why is he saying how the, he's talking about something else. Hummer's like a slang. I think he means like. Uh, sh- syringe or something, right? What are the what guys? What does the street term Hummer mean? Not the car. Um, maybe random user. I mean, honestly, I would rather you just fund the dark wave boxing event. But I mean, I guess that sounds cool. Maybe we could have caffeine pills at the event if you want to do that. Um, Brexit hasn't helped. Uh, hey guys, I got a great idea. What if I make a video about Brexit? Yeah, I'm huge in England, dude. If I go, if I if I touch down in London, it would just be fans swarming me. Yeah, they'd be like, "Oh my God, Glink is here! Oh my God, it's Glink!" This is the best stream so far. Well, what can I say? Hot tub makes every stream better, right? That's what they say. I'm trying to appeal to Twitch. Is what is Twitch saying? I don't have the Twitch set. Twitch chat. I think there's like five people in that Twitch chat. Damn. I straight up abuse. If you don't talk to Twitch chat, they leave instantly. Really? Yeah. I have to talk with them, but I don't even know how the fuck to talk with them on here. Uh, this is such a lame. This is just me reading my phone stream. What the fuck, dude? I need a. Can we pull up the Twitch chat on here? And I'll just have the YouTube chat. <laughs> well, let's pull it up in case somebody says something. Hey, Twitch. I'm still list. Sorry, guys. Um, go to twitch.com, twitch.tv slash glink live, and then hit, hit pop up window. And then we could pop out that chat. Destiny said you're schizo. Do you think he's right? 
Uh, That was like a year ago. Uh, I think Destiny is a spineless coward and a grimy, nerdy loser. That's what I think, honestly. Um, yeah, pretty much. Also, a deadbeat dad. Oh, but I didn't say that. That was a joke in Minecraft or whatever you have to say on Twitch. I don't know. Um, no, Destiny's stupid. I mean, if you ever have, if you think he's respectable because you think he's an intelligent debate bro. I fucking flew this guy out and paid for his hotel accommodations to come to my event. He flew out and didn't show up to the actual event to debate Curtis Yarvin on monarchy. So it's like, oh, you'd think this guy, if he's some sort of intellectual political genius that he, you know, purports himself to be or presents himself as he would debate someone like Curtis Yarvin, even though I didn't have a huge audience just for the sake of debating, just for the challenging of his ideas just to maybe find out if there's any merit to this to to what he's saying nope didn't show up giant pussy took my flights though took the accommodations showed up to the day two party though okay fine i just don't have respect for him but that's all i don't really care and, it, and it's water under the bridge honestly i just i don't really care it's just that i get a little disgusted whenever i see his blue hair show up on my fe uh, twitter feed or whatever and see him like milking the next uh, up and coming Sneeko or, uh, you know, whoever the fuck it is for views. Like he's just uh, he's basically a clout chaser in wolf's clothing or whatever. I don't know. He sucks. He's lame enough of that. If you need any help at all. But I feel the same to be fair to Destiny. I feel pretty much the same way about all of his lame ass peers and, you know, political debate bros. They're all pretty much the same. So nothing personal. Um Uh, go to uh, uh, go to my stream page. There should be a pop out chat in the somewhere in the corner of the chat box. Maybe it's like by the settings icon or something. Where in Japan are you going? Oh, I will show you that in a second. But the plan is we're going to land in Tokyo. I'm going to be there for about five days. Film at Akihabara. Um, film some of these other things. Food reviews. Go into the shrines and such. Uh, maybe go to that uh, that mountain the guy talked about. Uh, and then we're going to Kyoto, meeting with this guy named Oliver Jia, who's a journalist. He's going to show me around. He's an American who was living in Japan for the last five years. Um, so he's got a pretty interesting perspective. And then from there, I don't know, but I might be going to Osaka to meet this other guy who contacted me. And that should pretty much cover the majority of the trip and uh, plan to do interviews and such throughout that. That's the plan so far. Nobutaka. You know, I was going to go to the town that Fooly Cooly was based on. And I definitely want to recreate the uh, the ending of Fooly Cooly with the Vespa. But I don't think that town is a real... Well, it might be a real town, but I don't think the anime is based on a real town. But there might just be one that looks like it. I want to go wherever they filmed the outro to Fooly Cooly. I don't know where that is. If we could find that out, it would be cool. I'd love to do that. What do you think about Shubel Storks? I'm not sure who that is. What are your thoughts on Young Turk Hassan? Um, you know what? I think Hassan is... Uh, uh, basically just a, uh, a misinfo agent for Erdogan. And um, he's a propagandist, but I don't really, that's it. I mean, I don't really have much else to say. I don't even personally hate the guy. He seems really tacky and lame and cringe, but I can't, I actually don't have any personal beef with him. Not really. I mean, I think he's stupid and he's definitely like, propagandizing to an entire generation of 12 year olds who are probably going to grow up to be absolutely brain dead, but not my problem for now. Uh, Kyoto bamboo forest. Wait, where's the forest? I don't know. We're going to have to find out where the Jake Paul forest is. I mean, Logan Paul. Um, are you buying your JR foreigner pass massive value, especially if you're going to Kyoto and Osaka? I need to do that ASAP turbo. Uh, can you write that down? JR foreigner pass. Sorry, this is just like halfway personal notes for myself. When's the next Gush podcast? The next Gush, Gush podcast uh, happening probably the next time that me and Slush meet up again. Uh, I, I love Slush. He's a good friend, but we are pretty distant in terms of physical location. He lives in all the way in Canada. He has a, uh, okay, kind of a desk job now, and I'm kind of doing a lot of weird things with my life, so we don't always talk, but much love for, for him. And I would, I would, definitely do another episode sometime i need to start a podcast guys maybe we could have this hot tub as the set speaking of i probably need to get out of here at some point before the bacteria really fucks me up because this water is definitely not safe um 
but I want to have a podcast. I just need a good co-host. Um, I need to have a podcast. Definitely. Like I would have so many good clips and I want it to be about loosely about masculine and feminine because I feel like a big misconception and a big barrier in our society between men and women is that we feel like we're sort of bitter about the other gender or bitter about the other side. And it's like, no, you know, we each have our own difficulties and all that's in the way of that is just these artificial barriers we put in the way technology and such egos and perception shadows on Plato's cave. Anyways, Steve Aoki. Okay. I'm going to meet Steve Aoki there. What do you think about Brett Weinstein? Oh, there's the Twitch chat. Sorry guys. I haven't read this at all. Hummer equals blowjob. It's okay. I'm going to read it anyways. So we have the Twitch chat. Someone said Hummer equals blowjob. Golden, uh, you don't, you didn't used to play WoW. Yes, even Gellion is hard to top. True. Please increase the size of your main screen. All right. Uh, scroll down again. OG Smokehead. What's up? What's up, Gabe? What's up, Gabe? That's Gabe from New York, man. Yo, come to Austin sometime. We'll hang out. Gabe's a real dude. He's, he's cool. Oh, this guy you met in New York? Yeah, he's chill. He's chill. You'd like him. He's cool. Um, JR Pass gets you two weeks of unlimited JR lines. Um, okay, yeah, that's amazing, Turbo. Thank you, Turbo. Turbo, you're the best. I will look into that very soon. Oh, went to Aihoki Gara, Hara. It's not exactly incredibly exciting. The stuff around Yamanashi is better. Wait, what are you talking about, Marshall? Put the kick chat on, too. All right, we'll pull up the kick chat and the My Free Cams chat and the um, Live You chat and the Instagram TikTok chats. Um, that's the future of streaming guys of, of making videos for channels like me. It's just like, Oh, I'm streaming on like 50 different platforms because nobody has figured out how to make one that doesn't fucking screw you over yet. So, so stupid. Um, I'm very anti-establishment, but have been doubting some things recently. Do you think anti-establishment can go too far? No, anti-establish, anti-anything has no future. Never define yourself, never categorize yourself and never poise yourself as being anti anything, because what are you? You're a reaction. You're not real. You're just a shadow. You're not, I'm not anti establishment. I'm not anti woke. I'm not anti anything. I'm not even pro. I just believe in things. Just talk about what you believe in. What do you value? I believe in God. I believe in love. I believe in music is the language of God. I believe in connections to the people I love and you know, whatever, something, something simple like that. But I'm not anti anything and being anti is fucking cringe. I'm not anti, neither should you be. That's what I think, honestly. I mean, but it's okay if you're like punk or something. If you're anti everything, that's cool too. I feel like being punk is is definitely cool, but I would only think, I don't think I don't even think Sorry, this bacteria is like a worm in my brain at this point from this hot tub water. Hasn't Yeah, I've been I've been my skin's been drinking it. No, we don't need political violence. Look, I'm, I'm anti-violence, I guess, but I don't define myself as that. But, you know, I try not, to, you know, violence is the last option. I like the idea of masculine feminine podcast. If you're looking for femoids to have on. I have a lot I could say. Well, I'm sure you do make a horror show, but we need to, I need a co-host, maybe someone that lives here. That might also end in a horrible disaster if it's a girl. So I don't know, maybe shelving that idea for now. <laughs> Um, I just have, yeah, the suicide. Oh, I can't say that word. Shit. Um, the, I didn't say it. That was a song by no. Oh, I was going to say, what's his name? Sean Kingston. Um, yeah. Sell the Glink hot tub water. $10,000. That's not a bad idea. Um, I don't know who we're marketing that to anti D's nuts. Oh, you got me. Okay. You got me. You got me a bait. You got me. You got me. The whole anti speech was just bait. Okay. Wear antibacteria. I need some antibacteria. Anti shirt. Who's Mako? Mako. Mako. Uh, my number one fan. She's my number one fan, which is why I try not to respond to her too much because <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> 10,000 messages in my DMs and I don't know. Um, but thank you for supporting Mako. I do appreciate you. I just try to keep my distance. Not personal. I just do that with everyone. I just got to those horror stories. The Rockfin chat. Let's pull up the Rumble chat. We're going to be live streaming. Me and Sneaker are going to be doing a hot tub stream on Rumble in the at the Hot Springs. So, look out for that, guys. It's going to be hype. Um 
fluoride in the water. You need to run now. Did you say that because of the new Rusty Cage video? Or did you just already know that? Famous Fuji Pictures place, pa Pagoda? The blank forest in Yamanashi prefecture next to a couple next to Fuji, but the forest is just a forest LMAO. There are a couple of caves you can bl go below and explore. There's also a famous picture spot with a pagoda. Okay, so Yamanashi is the for prefecture next to Fuji. Okay, I'll, I'll write that down. Thank you. You have no fans in general. That's true. That's why you're the number one fan. D live chat, make it happen. Oh, I forgot about D live. Now, nah, but for real, I hope you enjoy your trip to Japan. Looking forward to the video. Thank you, Abate. All right, guys, I think uh, we got to do a couple more things, and then we'll kind of maybe I should watch some more stuff on here. Uh, Jr. Foreigner pass. That's what it is. Oh, let's go Twitch. Let's go Twitch. Let's go Twitch. Okay, we got Vermelli O W O. He says, "Love the videos as of late. Much love. Much love to you, Vermelli." Or 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 Boro. Melon pan was made by Armenian. Look it up. Melon pan. What's melon pan? Melon pan. There's definitely a lot. Of, oh, dude, it's definitely some horrible, gross shit. I think it is. Yeah, he, the fact that he said look it up is extremely sus. Oh, no. No. Yeah, I told you. Wait, what? So it's good. Okay. So it's not It's not some gross joke. Okay, that's good. I, sorry, I just assume the worst. Anytime tells me someone, anytime a chatter tells me look something up, I assume the worst Ouroboro. But thank you for the, I didn't mean to come off like that. It's not your fault. Let's see. Yo, that's almond cookies. Or no, I thought it was. They look like it. Damn, that looks freaking good is that japanese? that looks japanese that was made by an armenian what what an armenian japanese i'm definitely gonna try this and i'm gonna do a whole food review behind it okay let's is that real yeah, yeah that's, real. I've seen that here. that's crazy what the fuck man melon pan shout out to melon pan so we're gonna try melon pan in japan that's gonna be wild man jim jam flim flan coming out with the good stands my, sorry, my roommate says exactly like that. Exactly. Um, all right, let's see what y'all what y'all are saying. Uh, what should we pull up, guys? Should we, what should we watch? We got to watch some anime inspired thing. W Japan, W Hikan Hika Morris. Yo, we got a, a two thousand yen. Holy shit! I could actually spend this money there. Anyways, good luck in Japan, fella. Have a Noma Haudai. All you can drink on me. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Dude, Marshall, what? I have to do a I have to fake cry now like girl streamers. Wow. Yo, Marshall, what the 2000 yen? I don't even know how much that is. Like $100? That's crazy, bro. Thank you. Thank you. You didn't have to do that, but No, no, it's not $100. It's $50. It's probably it's orange, bro. Oh, well, you know what? That's good. I that's a night on an isekai. I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna drink to that, bro. Thank you. I'm gonna drink some sake on that. Put some respect on Marshall's name. Let's go. Yo, we gotta do more hot tub streams, man. We're making hella money doing hot tub streams. This is the first time I made money on YouTube in months, guys. In months. Yeah, they think you're exploiting. You guys think I'm exploiting homeless people? I'm about to end up homeless. That's where we're at, bro. I filmed so many homeless people. I'm about to be one of them. Why the fuck do you think I've been making so many videos, bro? It's like I'm looking at my future there. But thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Um, you can find me in the club. Sandwich. All right, Kirk. Uh, wait, what is Twitch saying? No, that's they're not saying shit. If you ever go to Tokyo, there's a massive life-size Gundam mech. Oh, dude, put the, put the Gundam mech on there. We got to check out the Gundam mech, bro. Let's watch 2013 Filthy Frank. Oh, I was going to show you guys. Frank Yang, which I do on every stream. Did you know Armenians are on the right side of the World War II? That's right. Okay, I don't know what you're saying with that. Okay, there was no right side in World War II. There was just... Yeah, we're not going to get into that. Um, listen, guys, we're past, we're past it, all right? If Germans and Jews can be friends, maybe we can all be friends. 
Um, if you ever, okay. Uh, what are we gonna do? Um, I don't know. One of the windows, but it's okay. It's fine. Could you uh, pull up that Frank? Pull up Frank Yang mixtape. I want to show these guys the origins of Filthy Frank. But pull that up, and then in another tab, pull up uh, Filthy Frank, and then we're just gonna compare the two. Homojo is a famous temple in Kyoto. It's the place where one of Japan's unifiers, Oda Nobugona, has died. Wow, this is this dude knows everything. I gotta interview you, man. Wait, okay, what? Oh, that's no, don't show that, man. Get out of here. We're not talking about that. X out. No, yeah, mm -mm. nah, just click off of it. Click, click off of it. There we go. Uh, I don't believe that. And also, this is we're not talking about genocidal politics. This is, not a political this is not a political stream or channel, okay? Documentary on Israel when. We're going to do that. We're going to cover that one this next this year. Uh, that's when we get political. We're going to solve the Israel co conflict, guys. We got a two-state solution. What? Yo! Wow, bro. I'm about to start living in Japan. Oh my God, yo! We got ten dollars from Walter Vargas, man. You put out the, the hot tub. Every comes to life. Everything comes to life, man. The Jesus, dude. Oh, I know, man. The Jesus been watching. He's a day one glinker, man. Walter Vargas with the ten mochi. We're gonna buy mochi. I'm gonna say shout out to to Walter Vargas with the. I'm just gonna say shout out to Walter. When I eat a piece of mochi, man, we're gonna do mochi food review. Can you put? Uh, sorry, I know that I'm gift telling you a lot right now, uh, but when you get a chance, mochi food review, Walter. Got to remember Walter. The Jesus. De I will dedicate a food review, and or any review to you if you would like. So let me know, man. The Jesus. Thank you for being a real. You mean, man? You don't. You guys don't have to do that. We don't need. We. Get, I feel. I feel a little guilty when people give me money online. I'm not gonna lie, but also kind of need it to survive. But thank you. Thank you. Please don't part with any money that is crucial to your survival, guys. Just if you got a few extra bucks, you don't feel like spending it on OnlyFans this month, I'll take it. You know, I'll take it. Um, this, Greg, is this it? Yeah. Well, Mochi is like, you've had Mochi, right? Of course, yeah. I love yeah, yeah. But why did you say Walter? No, no, because this guy, Walter, donated and he said Mochi. So I'm going to dedicate, I'm going to do like a food review and be like, shout out to Mochi or shout out to Walter for the Mochi. Don't dedicate anything. All right, man. Did Jesus? Well, I appreciate it, man. But you know, if you are you streaming these days, because if you are, I'm I'm gonna pop in there and check out what you're doing too. Um, there might be life size Gundams, and we're we're gonna check out the life size Gundams. Favorite island? Um, gotta be. Um, wow, that that's a killer thumbnail right there. I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, I was going to make a dumb joke. An island. That's a stupid joke. Cyprus. Give Glink. Fi Cyprus. There you go. So give Glink $5 or buy McDonald's meal. Um, McDonald's not healthy, guys. We don't want to eat McDonald's, but, you know, if I have to. Type in uh, Frank Yang. And then, um, man, my stream looks sexy. Now make another tab and type in, oh my gosh, people are outpouring their hearts right now. People are outpouring. I'm going to start flooding this with tears. It really is. I forgot about y'all. No, I didn't. But it seemed like I did. Been watching you for years and I'm going to Japan myself in a few days. Only for them to help you out for this. Good luck on your next adventure. TAD, $10 Canadian. Yo, maybe we can meet up, man. I don't know if you're in Tokyo or something. I wouldn't. We could do a little glinker meet up. A little Glinker meetup in Tokyo, man. Yo, follow Glink Between Worlds. Glink underscore between underscore worlds on Instagram. I give updates on everything. I'll do like shit like this. Like, hey, y'all, I'm streaming. I'm going to do it right now. Watch. Little like videos if you guys care, you know, because this is where the real Glinkers are at is what I'm saying. I'm not even. No, not on there. 
get out of there. Don't don't open it on there. But okay, just um. All right, guys. Hey, I'm live on YouTube right now, and I'm also just posting a little story on my Instagram for the real Glinkers. The real ones know. Uh, so, you know, doing a little hot tub stream. It's been it's been a wild ride. We're going to Japan a few days, catching up with y'all. Okay. Um, so we just did that. Okay. Now, uh, make another tab, and type in um, "filthy Frank." On just type it in. It'll it'll come up. Um, okay, but thank you, TD. TD, shout out to TD for the $10 Canadian. I really appreciate that. You're awesome. That phone in the hot tub is giving me anxiety. It's giving me anxiety too. How do you think I feel? It's waterproof. It's waterproof, guys. iPhones past the iPhone 8 are all waterproof. Yeah, but that doesn't, they're actually water resistant. resistant. But that didn't stop my last phone from completely bricking when I dropped it in the river. I was paddle boarding. I was about to return the boat. I had the water the whole time. Didn't, I had the phone the whole time out of the water. I get back. Someone's like, hey, what's the time? It was comical. I literally turned. I'm like, everything falls in the fucking water, including my phone. That was five days before Lightwave. So five days before Lightwave, I lost my phone, which I was contacting everyone through. Luckily, I got a replacement. But it was it was. It's crazy stressful. I've never been more stressed in my life than those two weeks. It was like the most stressful time of my life. Anyways, and then I get a fucking 45 minute video by some ordinary gamers shitting on me for nothing. Fuck you. Anyways, um, TV Filthy Frank. Okay, click on, uh, click on, <laughs> click on his uh, profile and go to, I'm getting stuck. Two stoned eating tombstone. Kirk Butterfield with the two dollars says, "I'm getting two stoned eating tombstone." I think that's a frozen pizza brand or something. Shouts out to that. That sounds like a good time, man. Uh, go to, um, uh, I don't know, guys. Which one? Pink Life. Click Pink Life. Yeah, that one. Now let's full screen this. I'm, I'm going to show you guys some hidden internet lore. So this is Pink Guy. We all know Pink Guy. Filthy Frank, a.k.a. Joji. This is how he got his fame. Man, that's so cool. Filling on the field. That's cool. Still holds up, honestly. I know these effects he's using though. They're kind of cheesy effects. It might get copyrighted. I don't think so though. Damn. He was way ahead of the game. I gotta say, this came out like 2016, 17. <laughs> Flipping off the drone while running. That's a good shot. See, but he's he's smart. This is what I mean by aesthetic. He doesn't just he's not just lively. He's playing a character that's fully it's super smart. It's like pink guy is super easy to understand. It's just a guy wearing a pink suit. But he uses that as a way for for him to express himself differently than when he's just wearing the sunglasses. He's got multiple characters. Instead of having multiple personality disorder, he has an outlet for them. So now it's entertaining and he's a great artist. I should do characters more often. I already do. I just don't dress up as them. But okay, that's pretty cool. All right, now pause this. You know, it's Filthy Frank. We all know him. We all love him. Great. Internet master, right? Okay, so go to... Uh, type in Frank Yang. Type in mixtape. Yes, yes, that'll be good. That'll be good for us. Because the computer volume, they don't hear the difference. I want them to hear the difference. Uh, then turn up the volume on OBS on that slider. Uh, is the mic wet? No, but the cable is. Will you be visiting any temples? Yes, Sans. I'm going to go to the shrines in Tokyo, I think. That's what I'm looking to do. Um, with all the backlash you got from Lightwave, will there be a Lightwave too? The happy cynic. 
Yes, probably eventually. Um, I don't know if it's going to be this boxing event. I'm joke. I'm, well, it's not really a joke. I, I'm, I'm actually down to do it. But I don't know if I'm going to brand that as Lightwave. I want to do more events in general. You know, whether they're called Lightwave or whether it's Lightwave 2 and what it is, not exactly sure. I'm playing around with some ideas. I'll get there when I get there because they take a lot of money. They're not easy to make. Um, click on that one from 2012. This That one you're hovering over. No, no, the second one, that one. Uh, you call me a simp as you reinforce me with a hot tub stream. Keep laughing till my channel finally blows up. 100. Have fun in Japan. Yo, Mako, I'm clowning on you a little bit, but thank you for the five dollars. I do appreciate your support. It's it's um it is much it is I you're awesome. Thank you for you're always showing up in the streams in the comments, on the Instagram reels and shit. You're there. I can't deny that you're a real glinker. That's true. Thank you. So this video that we're about to watch is what I am thinking is the origins of Pink Guy slash Filthy Frank Joji. That's why we're watching this. And you will see the artistic inspiration and even the, the just imagery, the aesthetic inspiration as we're watching this, hopefully. This is one of my favorite videos. This is probably my favorite video on YouTube. Shout out to Slush for showing me. This is from 2012. This guy was way ahead of the game. 2012. Who made you do hard drugs? Gangster rap. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is drinking Johnny Walker instead of water for a workout in this one? Just taking back to actually that's like incredibly dangerous you could probably die doing that just doing deadlifts oh my god he drank like eight shots oh god blink what the fuck is this best video on youtube that's what it is So he, he has a crafted vagina palm on his hand and he's doing a clean and jerk. Joker mode pre-2017. Name of the video is type in Frank Yang mixtape 2012 through 2013. That's the name of the video. No, I'm talking to, I'm talking to this guy. So this guy went on a journey from being like a kind of scrawny guy to being incredibly jacked and he pretty much filmed every step of the way and on top of that he's also just really creative and crazy genius with filmmaking and such it's kind of like a philosopher now like he still has a channel And um, he became like a, this kind of like, some people say he's enlightened. I don't, you know, I'm not gonna make any claims, but he definitely is an interesting case of somebody on that um, self-discovery path kind of thing. And he has this look on his face nowadays in his videos where he's like always like wide-eyed. And he claims that like every moment is just feeling like he's tripping all the time and that he's reached enlightenment, so. He's a really interesting guy, uh, but I don't know, you know, I wouldn't say I, I, just, I believe in all those claims necessarily, but this video gets better and better. Just keep watching. Trust me, guys. It gets good. So he wants, he's here saying that he's kind of like saying that the weights need to, they want to be lifted. So you have to treat them like a, you know, see Frank Yang did this before Filthy Frank did this. In a, in a tub with food. Very similar aesthetic. You're, you're starting to see what I'm saying now, right, guys? His name is Fr Th Frank Yang. Filthy Frank. Came out in 2012 doing this shit. And years before it. You know? You could see the inspiration, right? Nobody knows about this. 
I discovered Filthy Frank in 2010 with my friend in our high school science computer lab. But was it 2010? He was not making videos in 2010. I don't think I could fit in society unless I look symmetrical. What are some things you're planning to do in Japan without spoiling, GG? Well, I have a whole list. Um, the main things are Anime District, Kyoto, Shrines, Mountains, Gundams, Countryside, Interviews with locals and expats. And uh, food reviews with family. To be enlightened is not. Huh. Yeah, a man who claims to be enlightened is not. Yeah, right? Like, that's kind of where my head's at, too. But I don't know if he claimed it explicitly. So. This is the road to enlightenment. I mean, I've watched this video like a hundred times, and I, if I'm being honest, I actually do think, okay, so he's having sex with this girl in public, or looking like he's having sex. Um, I do think there's something about, like, you have to reach the absolute fringes of your mind and what your comfort, like, push the boundaries in order to ascend. So I think things like this are sort of a representation of that, if that makes sense. Like, I think Frank is sort of a representation of, like, taking your mind and your body to the extreme limits and then coming out the other side as a beautiful monster, as he calls it. It's a really interesting... Like, I think he is going to go down in history. Um, Frank King is funny, but I don't take him seriously. Yeah, that's the problem, is, like, he lost a lot of his viewers because... That might be what's happened to me, honestly. Is like, I started off not being so serious, pushing some boundaries comedically or whatever... Culturally, maybe. But then when I try to be serious, it doesn't always pan out. And I'm trying, I don't know. Because sometimes I'm a very serious person, but most of the time I'm not. And with videos, I kind of want it to match that, but it's hard to do both. I want to show you guys the, the most important part of this video. These people build civilization. Straight up. I mean, think about it. In the past, that was the case. There were certain men, certain special individuals who did amazing things. I don't think those genes or those statistical anomalies are gone in the modern world, but they're just expressed through different outlets. Instead of conquering, instead of being Genghis Khan, this guy is doing eating fish at a supermarket and, and making workout videos while doing crazy, you know, filmmaking shit. I don't know. Go crazy, but don't be crazy. That's interesting. Just get addicted to heroin. Exactly. Addicted to heroin or build a new civilization. Men are capable of great things. We call them autistic now. Basically, yes. Oh my god. This video just keeps going crazy. Here's a new breed! Fuck you, evolution! Here's a new breed! We seek new extremes. Yes, we do, man. We do. And the thing is, for the last hundred years, these systems of control, they've tried to get deep into the human psyche. What makes us tick? What makes us predictable? They've tried behavioral patterns, psychology, propaganda, all these different things, medication, pharmacology. Now it's social media, data. And you know what? They still can't figure it out because we are blessed with the gift of God of consciousness that is not mappable, not definable, not categorizable. That's what I believe. So that's what the great struggle of our entire human existence is. The struggle of being controlled versus being a creator versus vibing. And sometimes you need to be controlled to make things. You need to have discipline and structure to live, to have a house. But I think we've, we're past the point now where we need to worry about survival with AI and shit, you know? Look at this. How the f*** does he think that? <laughs> Look at this scene! I want to film shit like this in Japan. This is incredible. Look at this. Oh my god. 
shirtless riding on a bike with his girl. I mean, jeez. Like, if this doesn't... This is going to be studied in the history books, I'm telling you guys. This is like the, the human condition in video form. It's my favorite, one of my favorite videos. The symbolism is incredible in here. Tell me, tell me Filthy Frank didn't rip off this. Come on. You guys see it, right? The pink in a field. Eccentric, crazy Asian guy. Come on. Except I honestly think Frank Yang might have done it better. He's more of a legend because it's like, we all know what happened to Filthy Frank. He's making hit songs now. But this guy, where did he go? Did he really ascend? My friend interviewed him, but yes. He might have actually ascended. What if he escaped the Matrix and Joji's just making the Matrix? They went, they took different paths. I mean, look at this. Bane, violin. This guy plays violin. Like a madman. While lifting weights with a Bane mask. I mean, come on, dog. I, I think we peaked on the internet. Have you heard of Hermeticism? Yes, Turbo. I, I should read the book about it, but yes. Have you ever played MGS2? Of course. Link definitely watches this a few times a month. Dude, I, this is in my Golden Age of the Internet video. A second of this clip. So yes, I, I love this video. I show all my friends it. And this is the end here. This is the kind of shit that inspires me to make videos, you know? There is no, in the end, there is no final form. The end is becoming. That's what he says there. Or something like that. But it's good. Good quote. And that's it. All right. You must have chaos within you to give birth to a dancing star. Frederick Nietzsche. That's beautiful. Uh, I think it's more so that you built an audience around gaming. It's difficult to shift focus and keep subscribers. You established an audience doesn't understand the change. I don't really have an established audience though, because I didn't just build an audience with gaming videos. It was it was with so many kinds of videos: cultural analysis, internet videos, incels, you know, anime, gaming, uh, all these different things. So it's more like I do have a lot of people from different communities, but there's not one dominant community. I don't think. I bet I have a very widespread thing. Um, anyways, I think that's, I think we're probably good for the stream. I mean, I want to thank each of you guys that donated, uh, seriously to Jesus, Walter, um, uh, Mako, um, shoot. Well, I think you guys, I think I missed a couple there. Uh, um, TD, that's right, TD, thank you, from Canada. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys so much. Um, I think what I'm going to do is release the highlights of this either on my second channel or as a... Uh, Mako the Simp. Or as a uh, Patreon exclusive. So if you guys want to support me on Patreon, you can get exclusive content. I actually have an exclusive video on Patreon it's not, not my best work. The audio is kind of shit, but it is it is an original video on Patreon, um, filmed in Austin. Yo, somebody donated five euros. Oh, jeez, dude. Sam Laser donated five euros through Super Chat, fulfilling my dream to go to Japan next year. I wish your trip will be unforgettable. Wow. I'm sure you'll uncover something there the others have not. Thank you, Sam Laser, for the five euros. Wow, what an an absolute legend and a giga chad based on your profile picture. Jeez. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. I will do my best to make a video that encapsulates the magic of Japan and makes it as interesting and entertaining as possible for you and everyone else watching. And I hope that your trip is as magical and as beautiful as hopefully mine is inshallah. Um, uh, thank you, Sam, man, you guys are awesome. I, you know what? Hey, while you guys are watching, look out on my Twitter, Glink Live, and 
uh, Link Between Worlds. I want to do streams in Japan. Not every day, not 24-7, but maybe I'll do like a few hours here, a few hours there, exploring the city or doing something cool. I don't know. We'll figure it out, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do streams. I'm definitely going to post shorts. I'm definitely going to make a video about it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be awesome. And then when I come back, making even more videos. So consider this guys, these last three videos I just made shout out to Mustafa who helps me with the streams, who helps me film, who helps me edit. I pay him. Don't worry, but he's my coworker. He's my associate. He's helped me put out a new chapter of videos Call this Glink season one, guys. And season one, this is the finale. We're going to Japan. It's the finale of season one. But we got season two coming. We got a whole springtime and summertime. We got a whole new season of content coming. It's going to be interesting, experimental, collaborative, whatever it is. We're taking it in a new direction. I don't even fully know yet, but that's the beauty of it. That's, that's where life takes you sometimes. So I want to thank each one of you that donated. This has been an amazing stream. We might not have the biggest audience or the biggest uh, community, but honestly, you guys are real ones and I don't even want a huge one. I just want people that are real ones that are supporting me that have some, take, get some value out of what I'm doing, hopefully. And um, hopefully I can provide that for you guys. So thank you so much to each and every one of you. Twitter, Glink Live, Glink Between Worlds on Instagram. Uh, Check out the Patreon. Check out the Discord. We got the Discord. It's all the links are in the description. You know, you know how it is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is there anything else? Probably not. Glink Think for the second channel. I made a video about Creator Clash. People, it's blowing up. They, they're saying Anissa might even bring Froggy Fresh back on because of the video. You know, what can I say? What can I say, guys? Um, I'm getting out of this hot tub before I definitely get some sort of toxicology report coming in from my doctor. Um, but yes, I, this has been awesome. Every, I'm going to just read every name in chat right now. Jan Butcher, Bouchard. Thank you. Flame guy. Thank you. Rob Matt 13. Thank you. And Gore Toro. Thank you. You guys are great. Mako. Thank you. Metalhead 2000. Thank you to Jesus. Thank you. A bait. Thank you. Jade McCaig. Mel, um, Darth likes music. They have an entire street called guitar street in Tokyo. I'm going to guitar street. We're writing that one down too. guitar street is next. I'm definitely going to guitar street. I've been practicing guitar. I'm still not good, but I can sort of sort of play songs. In fact, I'm going to play you guys out. I'm going to play you guys out. Um, hold up. Let me see if I can. Can you give me that acoustic? Yeah. I'm going to see if I can play a little something for you guys. I've been cooking up some, some guitar licks, you know. I'm still not good at all, but you know what? your last comments here while I do this little outro, guys, because trust me, it's uh, it's going to totally be worth worth your time. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely not just messing around with no knowledge of what I'm going to show. Sagan, he's tuning his guitar for the outro. Bro. Yo, Sagan! This guy, this guy always comes in at the end, bro. Sagan, we need a VHS camera for Japan, but I think we're going to find one there. I hope you're good, brother. Hope yeah. you're good. I miss you, Sagan. How you been, bro? Okay. I know. Thank you, young blood. That's what Sagan loves saying that. 
Alright. Alright, guys, here we go. You only got one chance. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Fuck, I can't even hold this shit properly. Alright, let's see if I can. Let's, let's try not to embarrass myself. I can't sing and play. I can't sing or play, but I definitely can't sing and play. Uh, let's see if I can do this one. I think this guitar is also just ruined. Like, I, I don't think it sounds good, but. Yeah, it does not. That's not, that's not team. been practicing guitar. I'll go to the Guitar Street in Tokyo. You know, we're going to have a good time. Thank you. Oh, all right. I think that's it. I think we're good. I think we're going to end the stream here and get my computer out of the hot tub room, guys. Um, I'm going to get better. I am going to get better at guitar. You plan to go to Japan? Yes. And if you want to know the details, I covered it in the stream. And if you want to watch the highlight video, look out on my Patreon slash... I'm not sure yet. It might be on the second channel or it might be on the Patreon. I'm going to figure that out. But... Uh, maybe because you're playing with wet hands. Well, also, it's just like the humid as fuck. It's like warp. It's like just destroying the wood in here. I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't even remember subscribing to this channel, says Sebastian Morales. You know what? Welcome. Welcome. Doesn't matter. You're here now. You're here in the hot tub with me. And guess what? Next, we're going to Japan. So hop in, loser. We're about to check out. We're about to find out where I anime all came from. We're about to find out. We're about to save civilization. With anime. Uh, no, I'm not going to bring any drugs. Are you kidding me? I'm just going to drink Sapporo in the Izakai. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink sake. I forgot the mic was over here. Sorry, you guys probably couldn't hear me at all. Uh, we're not going to bring any drugs. And welcome to... Dude, let's jam. Are you going to go to Japan, Darth? In the airplane over the sea. Very based. Of course. Thank you. Oh, man. Email me. Yo, if one of you are going to Japan, email me. Or if you're there and you want to meet up and you want to collaborate or something, you want to be interviewed about how anime influenced you, email me. Someone already did. Multiple people already have. LOLglink at gmail.com. That is my email for contacting. Will Frank Yang come? I don't know. I hope so. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. It's been a great stream. I'm going to get out of this water, apply some antibacterial ASAP. Um, thank you, guys. See you later.